After the unexpected death of Yevgeny Prigozhin in a plane crash in the Tver region, Russian officials are more cautious. The head of Chechnya, Ramazan Kadyrov, decided to go to Moscow by train instead of by plane, as he usually does. Ramazan Kadyrov probably faces certain risks and therefore takes precautions not to repeat the fate of Yevgeny Prigozhin. After Prigozhin's death, the Western media and experts called Kadyrov the next person who could live the fate of Wagner's creator. However, it does not make sense for the Russian authorities to lose the head of Chechnya for two reasons. Ramazan Kadyrov does not pose a threat to the Kremlin. There may be great risks involved in his death. After Prigogine's death, Wagner was left with 10,000 mercenaries. The Russian authorities will somehow cope with the Wagnerites, and without heavy weapons they will not be able to organize an uprising. But Kadyrov leads a republic with a large population and its own armed forces. And if the head of Chechnya dies, it is not clear who will come to power and whether the Kremlin's control in the region will remain. Therefore, in addition to the war in Ukraine, the presence of a potential civil war in Chechnya is not profitable for the Russian authorities. While the people of Chechnya love Ramazan Kadyrov, his possible death could lead to unrest in the republic. Ramazan Kadyrov's power and authority may end when Vladimir Putin's rule ends. After all, they are connected and have a common destiny.